hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide how are you sending you the purest of love and light so it's your time it is your time to be blessed while i was pre-shuffling i saw the two of pentacles card so a lot of you for quite a while you could have been juggling maybe you're still juggling just have a lot on your plate you know a lot a lot of things going on right now and uh, God is getting ready to balance things out because with that same two of cups it says fame and fortune so God is bringing a lot of stability order back into your life the structure the things that hold you down the things that make you feel safe and secure it's like going back to that hierarchy Maslow's hierarchy of needs the basic things that hold you down that makes you feel safe feel love feel protected a lot of you have been you know it's just been like a, a seesaw that you've been riding on and God is getting ready to turn things around for you and Sean I am so proud of you I'm so happy for you listen please if I had your contact information, I probably would have just emailed you. And this is why I'm asking you, Soul Tribers, please um, subscribe to my email list on my website. The information is below in the description box. Again, nobody knows the future. I mean, I don't know how much longer I'll be here for, right? So, but the only thing is that at least if I have your contact, then we can always be in touch in the future, God's willing. Because once we leave here, you know, it pretty much ends. So please do that. Subscribe. And for those of you who have done that, I received it. Thank you so very much. I am so glad that we're here together on this journey. But yeah, Sean, I am so happy for you. I did not respond to your message because only because it's in that inception stage, you know, it's that early stage. And sometimes, and take it from me, I've been there where you're so excited and you share something with people or people see it and they don't even realize that they are evil lying or sending you negative energy. And so kind of like a pregnancy we're gonna shield this protect this pray over this and watch god works and when the time is appropriate and it is done then yes we will put it on blast and we will celebrate but i'm so happy for you let me tell you when you do what you love you never work a day in your life and you know kick it up a notch several notches clearly what you're doing it's working and persons are taking note of it and um, I am so happy for you like I said the goal I would love to see us all win all of us make it to the top but sadly enough you know you have those scrubs in the barrel who will try to pull us back down so even with this be careful hopefully this message is not reaching you too late be careful who you share this information with even the people you think are your friends are your families and co-workers and if you have been journeying with me for a while you know uh, based on even my own stories all the misfortunes and things that happened to me because people were not genuine and I trusted and confided, uh, give my precious information and everything to people who try to sabotage it and take it and use it for themselves. So it's very important to protect whatever you're working on, your blessings as well, okay? But I can't wait. Keep up the excellent work, I'm sure. I'm proud of you, so I can only imagine how much God is proud of you and keep going keep going love you 
Again, please send me your contact information. It would be great for us to keep in touch otherwise, okay? Yeah, so back to the message. And again, always remember you're blessed and highly favored. You're secured, you're anchored, and you're protected. And yes, even though God is taking care of us, there are things on this realm in the 3D that we need to co-create, work with divine so that things can work together in favor of. So there is no unnecessary delays or obstacles. Because yes, even though the enemy cannot stop anything, but they will try to delay it. And hopefully by being successful, they're hoping that by them being successful, then you will get discouraged and walk away from your blessings, okay? So whatever way you can do to guard your dream, protect your ideas, and keep your mouth shut, be like the wise owl. The less you, you, the less you speak, the more you will see, okay? And the more you see, the less you speak. All right, so yes, yeah, so God is getting ready to balance out a lot of things in your life because here I have the, the Ace of Cups. Again, this is coming from the hand of God. God, the King of Heaven, rejuvenation, obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. So as I said before, for those of you who have been juggling, feeling as if it's like robbing Peter to pay Paul, you don't have enough time. The future seems so unsure, so uncertain. God is here to rejuvenate, to refresh. You know, it's like that hot day. A cool glass of water, lemonade, whatever your favorite drink or beverage, you know. But it's refreshing, some good coconut water, right? A glass of coconut water. God is here to rejuvenate, to revitalize, to replenish those dry places in your life. And you will get mercy. And he's going to grant you long life. Because a lot of things could have been delayed in your life. You thought you were not going to live. To see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And God is saying it's not over. Until I said it's over. People could have been trying to end things in your life. The cup, it talks about our emotions, our feelings. And you know, when you're unsteady there, it throws everything off. So you could have been going through a lot of ups and down turmoils in your feelings because things are not happening. It's not going your way. And God sees it and he took note of it. Or he's taking note of it right now. And he's going to replenish, rejuvenate. And not only that, you're going to live long to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. As David said, I would have fainted. It's like he would have died unless he saw. But because he saw how God was so faithful to people before testimony of other people ahead that is what helped him to keep holding on keep holding the faith look it's of pentacles i told you the first scar that fell out was the two of pentacles you know at a crossroads maybe making a decision juggling these are two aces new fresh beginnings I'm telling you, it's your time. And this is from the hand of God himself. They adored God. Divine blessings drive away evil spirits. Rules agricultural productions. So again, every barren land, you know, when you throw your seeds and the enemies come down with a sparrow and all of that and they try to pick out the, the seeds, your blessings, the things you're working on, well, God is here to drive away all of those evil spirits. Drive away to chase out all iniquity workers. 
And again, don't be afraid when you see people falling out of your life, people walking away for no reason. Let me tell you, when people want to leave, let them leave. Be like the father of the prodigal son. Because see, when even if it's a relationship, and it may seem like, oh wow, I invested years in this, and I'm not just gonna... But I mean, are you... Don't you think you deserve more than settling with the shell of a person? Because like the body, the song says, your body is here with me, but your mind is on the other side of town, right? You deserve everything. You deserve everything. And so for a lot of you who have been going without or juggling with a lot of things, it is your time. God is here to restore your blessings and run away evil people, iniquity workers. Their time is up. Their time is up. It's like it was only for a moment. And the sun right behind it. Restoration of life. Again, protection from adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. Even them, the raccoons, all of them. Wild beasts, they're going to have to stay away. I mean, God is like the raid and the bug off. All of them, they're going to have to flee. They're just going to have to stand way over there and look. But they can't touch. They can't come close. The sun, this is abundance. Blessings. Wow. They're going to have to see you. Because I'm telling you, it's a lot of... People wanted you, again with the Ace of Cups, not to have emotional support, not to be emotionally stable, not to feel secure or confident in yourself or your being. And God is going to come and cement that in your life. People didn't want you to be stable in your foundation, in your family, in your community, in your career, in your savings. And God is here to restore that. What you touch is going to flourish. You are the blessing in that business. You are the asset, not the liability. They're going to wish they could duplicate, replicate you because of your work ethic. Because goodness and mercy that is following you. The favor and the anointing is on you. And I'm telling you, when you work... Because you know that God is your boss. Then you have nothing to worry about. You don't have to worry about the earthly boss. Are they seeing you if you do this or that? Because you know God sees you. And he knows your heart. And you're laid on the line. And God honors that. He honors that. Yeah, so for a lot of you, you know, it's just holding back. Yeah, he's, well, I have four of cups and then I have the three of pentacles in reverse. It's kind of like holding back and then I have the four of swords here and the five of wands in reverse. Wow. And six of wands in the upright. So it's like holding back from those people who did not give to you. It's like you're not going to take people's cup who are dishonest with the three of pentacles you're not going to work with people or be loyal to people who are not loyal to you as well when it comes to your cup and your blessings a lot of these three of cups people they wanted you also to miss an opportunity and so you're holding back from working with people like these and with the four of swords you're laying them to rest this is what i'm saying you're going to see people and a lot of these with the five of five of ones. This is jealousy and competition dealing with a lot of people who are haters. They think you don't deserve what you have or they want to take away what you have. And it's all because of your victory, six of ones and right behind it, it's the devil. But with the seven of pentacles, you're going to reap what you sow. You're going to reap what you sow. And this is coming after a time of 
the three of swords being hard to but you're healed or you're healing the nine of wands being in that wounded warrior but you stood your ground you refuse to give up you refuse to give in i'm telling you you're gonna see live to see the blessings of the lord ten of pentacles ace of pentacles to the ten of pentacles i'm telling you yeah whatever you're working on with the eight of pentacles you're gonna master your craft you're gonna be the best at what you do and then right here we have the star you were born for this you are this if anything in the court god god is going to protect he's going to bring balance and justice for you because god god the just god is here for you as well i love this i love it for you and look on this card it says time let time forget those scars so for those of you who have been going through a lot you release the hurts the pains from people who hurt you it's like this is your time watch for signs you know look for the indication look for the moment of opportunity seize those moments and be open be open to receive be open to receive 11 11 it's the synchronicity whether this is in your connection your relationship a new love you know it's like look for the signs it's all over this is your time god is getting ready to move and to do a great thing in and through you you know for a lot of you you know this was the first car that came out invest pay attention to the input of resources so again your time whatever you're investing in you know it's like keep working on it you know for a long time and maybe even now a lot of you you have to pay attention close attention to your resources because like i said with the two of pentacles a lot of juggling a lot going on but now it's like you're investing wisely in your time you're also paying attention to the people who you let into your energy you know and here we have the illusion a lot of people probably either judge you by the cover it says don't judge a book by its cover so look also to those who are lying to you invest into the right thing in the right people so it could go both ways you know for some of you people are probably right about you your confidence your work your work ethic you deserve to have that blessing not because you are entitled to it but because you have done the time you have done the healing you have done the work and so now it's your time so people see those qualities and they will invest in you as well wow passion maintain your enthusiasm again be open for opportunities don't grow faint don't break before your breakthrough don't lose hope don't lose hope that's what i'm hearing don't lose hope and then we have here hope and cradle where there is a light there is hope so it's like it shall come to pass for you it shall come to pass it's like don't lose hope don't give up what is yours it will come to you whatever god has for you it's for you look emptiness keep your goals firm fill the emptiness fill the void whatever it is that you're going after again it's like keep it in the forefront of you what is it that drives you your passion again your creativity feel the emptiness and like i said even if this is a relationship whatever void is inside of you only god can fill that another person cannot fill that so it's like sometimes we put a lot of pressure on people on the outside 
to come in to fill what we need to heal or ask God to help us to heal. So yes, keep your goals firm. Be unwavering, especially when you know that God has you in that place for a reason. You know you're in your purpose, your calling, at least even for right now. This is where you're meant to be. Keep your goals firm. Fill your own emptiness. Be able to fill your own cup. Again, with the ace of cup. Not giving to people who are not giving to you. Not giving to people from an empty cup. Like I said, I've learned a lot of things. Just evolving and, and going through my process. A relationship cannot be 50-50. Because then where is the other 50 going? It needs to be a hundred. Your cup needs to be full and running over. People should be getting from the, the, from the overflow. And a lot of us are used to pouring into people, leaving ourselves dry, emotionally bankrupt. And it's like enough of that. You're done with that. Fill your own emptiness. Love yourself first. Put on your life vest first instead of securing other people. Putting your priorities in order. Fill your emptiness because inside of us there is that void that only God can fill. And a lot of people, again, even though they may have a lot materialistically, but you see they're driven to do things to fill those voids and it doesn't end very well for them. Because that was only meant to be filled by God. So when we go outside and look to people outside, then we're only going to end up being emotionally bank bankrupt or withdrawn. You're in the red. <laughs> wow, I love it. I love it for you. I love it for us. And here it's like the granting of blessings from good fortune. Again, Jupiter learn to teach be positive about grow and expand so for a lot of you i'm telling you it's time for you to grow and expand granting of blessings from good fortune you're reaping from all the good things that you put out there god is getting ready to pay you back to rejuvenate you for all of the misfortunes for, for a season, it seemed as if you were losing. For a season, it looked as if all hell was breaking loose on your life. And God is getting ready. Like the song says, the potter wants to put you back together again. He's here to restore order, balance. It's like a new sheriff is in town. He's putting all of the chatters and the you know, the cloud chasers and the negative energies and the bullies, he's shutting them down, silencing them. They had their moment. They had their five minutes of fame. Now go away. God is going to put them away. Some of them, they're going to be put away, whether in physical jail or spiritual jail. Some of them, they're going to be unalive physically or be unalive spiritually. But God is getting ready to close them down. The Dali House, the charade is over. It is finished. For these entities who work so hard to destroy. And this is why God has to give you all these aces again. A first start. In your emotions, heal in your heart, in your in your stability, your job, your pentacles. The sun is now shining back in your life. The sun is here. God has to restore, start over everything for you. The power of love, invest, gambles or games, your creations, the fifth house, with the trust of a child. Fun, romance, and making art. Do it dramatically. Again, for a lot of you, like I said, this could be love. 
But whatever it is that you are embarking on, you're going to have fun. It's like getting a new lease on life. I'm telling you, a lot of you, either you, God is allowing you to lay these people to rest, these people to walk away, or God is just with the sun here exposing a lot of things that people have been doing, and now you're going to hold back from them. You're not going to take their cups. When you wanted their help, they were not there for you. And God is laying them to rest because this is now your time your season, your moment, I'm telling you, to be blessed. And you're going to do it. You're going to go big. I'm telling you, I shared in a message before, the enemy, when it says expansion, people who are haters, they don't. this is what they didn't want you to expand. They don't want you to grow. They want you to stay stuck and stagnant just like them. They want you to be bitter and resentful. But see, this is the reward we get, even though it wasn't easy. But you keep pushing, you keep going. God is, oh, he's going to go big. He's a big and awesome God. He's big. Your ideas, the third house, short-term thinking and trips who are what is around you. By making the right connections, the idea in questions, get your ideas going again. The people who are around you, they shape who you are. Show me your company and I'll tell you who you are. Some people, very few, can survive in toxic areas. A lot of people can't because the negative people, you're trying to pull them up. They will pull you down. So who or what is around you? Because that also shapes as to how far you will go. Making the right connections. Like I said, you're not going to work putting time and effort anymore into people, places, or things who are not serving you, who are not loyal, who are not devoted to you. A lot of these people you are celebrating with, you're realizing now that they are not for you. They smile in your face and in your back it's a big disgrace. So whatever you're working on, you're going to get those ideas going. Because you know that with Christ, you have everything. And this is why you're called here to fill your emptiness. So you don't have to be codependent on other people. You don't have to run to people. What is your opinion? What do you think about this? You know how to pray. You know how to talk to God. The answer is within you. And this is one of the reasons why going in hermits, when these people leave your life and you have nobody to call for suggestions and ideas, you learn to trust your own instinct. God becomes your best friend. And by the time these, these people may want to come back, you don't need them anymore. Because your cup is full and running over. Wow. I love it. I love it for you. I love it for us. I love it for you. I love it for us. Yeah, the emperor. You're a powerful figure, leader, authority, domination, focus, ability. This is who you are. You're a boss. You're meant to lead. So don't doubt yourself. God is restoring everything back to you. He's going to give you back everything the six of cups yeah equal give and take this one you're gonna invest in people who invest in you some of you you're gonna meet somebody who are people who feel again like your soul tribe like you know them before a lot of these people from your past you're bossing up you're leaving them behind because like I said, they didn't want you to expand. Your trust in divine now with this fifth house here, with the trust of a child, just innocent, just pure, faith, just jumping, knowing that God will catch you. 
you're going to go big or go home, whatever you're working on. And like I said, if this is a connection or a partnership, it's going to feel like it's going to feel like home. But you're also leaving a lot of things in the past too. A lot of people, places and things that no longer serve you. Look, and the tower is right behind it. Chaos caused by sudden change. And this is all under the sun here. So a lot of things are shown, exposed to you as to what you need to do. All the false people. All of your even your own traumas and toxic ways, everything is blown to shambles. And you don't need to deal with that anymore. Yeah, it's like the four of ones. Look, and 11, 11. Look, 11, 11 here. And then we have it here. Take time to rest and enjoy success, romance, tranquility, family, prosperity, and harmony. Absolutely. God is going to restore to you your peace. A lot of you, you, you won't know how tired you were until these people left your life. You're going to realize how much rest you're going to get because you dropped the baggage. Yeah, close out those cycles. Those people who wanted you to be left out in the cold. It's time to close those out. It's finished. It's your time. I love it for you. I love it for us. Until next time. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe. Be blessed.